One college campus is rolling out new technology to enforce social distancing in time for the fall semester. Students and faculty at the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill worked together to design health greeter kiosks. The equipment can detect if individuals are wearing a mask and whether they are spaced six feet apart. The school will be the first to implement this type of technology with hopes of expanding it to schools across the country. The development was led by Stephen King. He is an associate professor of emerging technologies for the UNC School of Media and Journalism and the UNC Kenan Flagler Business School. And he joins me now. Stephen, welcome. Great to have you with us. Tell us a little bit about the process of developing these kiosks and how do they work exactly? So in the UNC Reese Innovation Lab, we try to solve complex problems and use technology to do that. So we started with a design question of how might we use artificial intelligence to stop the spread of COVID? And so our team got together and we started brainstorming and we came up with some ideas and our computer vision engineer started working on a prototype. And then we brought in, uh, we worked with Lenovo's AI Innovation Center and we came up with a solution that would detect if people were wearing their mask using computer vision. And then we could detect how close or far apart they are and then give them instant and encouraging messages that hopefully encourage them to continue to follow the proper protocols to keep everyone safe. So what happens if two people walk by and they're not far enough away? Does the kiosk beep, uh, you know, send out an alarm? What happens? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have uh, images on the screen and it will encourage them with a message that may say spread out or we can give uh, icons and change colors and things. Just simple messaging, simple uh, signaling to say you need to spread out a little bit. Easy to understand and you don't need to speak English. So <laughs> tell us about exactly. uh, the number of kiosks you have now and how did you decide where to place them on the campus? Yeah. So we're working on a pilot project right now where we want to test and make sure this is uh, doing what we think it should do and make sure it really is uh, helping with the uh, the health concerns. And so we're going to do a pilot project starting in a few schools and, and testing this out. And then my hope is that it would spread and be in all of our buildings across campus and then maybe even to campuses all over the U.S. and then in workplaces and other places. So you just have a few for now and you sort of put them at entr entrances to the campus? Yes, yeah, so we have uh, six that we're ready to deploy right now. And, uh, and so we are gonna put them at different entrances to different buildings, things like the student union, maybe the, uh, the dining halls, and then some of the academic buildings. So this is pretty high tech stuff, obviously, and relies on collecting some data from people. How are you addressing potential privacy concerns? Well, privacy is very important to us here in the lab, and we wanna make sure that we protect that. So one of the things is that we're not doing facial recognition. We're not doing anything that uh, identifies a person. We are simply simply counting the number of people who come through, counting the number of masks, or if they're wearing their mask or not, and then measuring the distance between them, and we store those numbers, but we're not collecting any personal data about a specific person. And those numbers that you are collecting, what do you plan to do with that data? So this is one of the things that we want to be able to to share this in a way that helps people to make good decisions about COVID and policies and, and what our students need to be doing. So as we see the numbers go up or down or we see compliance, we can help by maybe encouraging with different messaging or trying new things. Uh, one of the things that data can do is tell us where are there certain like spots where people get too congregated because maybe there's a water fountain or a trash can in the way. We can figure that out using this data. And so hopefully it'll help us to over time make a safer campus. Sounds great. I can always, I almost imagine them being these roving robots, you know, rather than stuck in one place. Where do you hope to take this program next? I know you said you'd like to see it spread out on, you know, other campuses, but do you already have some relationships, you know, in play, some other schools who've reached out to you interested about this technology? So right now we're doing this here at UNC. But we know that there's some, some interest from others. So we're going to work with technology partners to, to get this out there to the rest of the world. Because we don't want to just keep it here at UNC. We do want to spread it out and put it in public venues and other, other campuses across the country. All right. Sounds like great stuff. Professor Stephen King, thank you for joining us and telling us about it. Thank you very much.